Welcome to the Delaware, Ohio Local Guide, brought to you by the Crane & Pearl team at EXP Realty. And I'm your host today, Sarah Marie Brenner. I'm at the amazing Opa Grill & Tavern at 18 South Sandusky Street, talking to the owner, Genty. Oh, I, I ended up in Delaware by mistake uh, or by chance, I don't know, depending on who you ask. Uh, I moved to Columbus, Ohio at 2007. Uh, my wife and her family had moved in here 2001. So in process of trying to find a house, uh, we wanted to buy a house on Grove City and that didn't work out for us. And friends and relatives and people were telling us that we need to come a little farther north. North has better schools, better houses, uh, better living style and so on and so on. And me being the newbie in Columbus didn't know better. So we came, to, uh, we came north, but I guess we came a little way far north. And uh, we bought our house in here in Delaware 2010. The opportunity arose in 2015 uh, to buy this restaurant that somebody else has founded and created. So we took over May 1st, 2015. And uh, we've done a lot of changes. We have done uh, uh, way a lot of changes. At this point, we are the largest bar in Central Ohio or, or, or probably Ohio, we have been uh, winning a few rewards. We are one of the best bourbon bars in Midwest, based on bourbonreview.com. Uh, and the rest is history. We just like it coming in here. We, we, we love it every day. It's a different day for us. So where did you t come from originally? Tell me about your family history. Uh, I was born in Albania. Uh, I'm old now, but I was born in Albania a few years back. Uh, I had to move. Uh, I lived one of the worst uh, communism systems, but lucky I was able to get away when I was 10 years old because the communism system dropped or collapsed in 2000, sorry, at, uh, not 2000, at uh, 1990. And uh, 1998, I was able to go to Turkey on a, on a, on a, uh, on a scholarship and uh, I studied pharmacy in Istanbul. University in Turkey, so I have a degree in there. Um, it happens that I had to move to the U.S. for love, and uh, had to follow my wife in here. And uh, I couldn't practice as a pharmacist in here, so I went to school again to Columbus State. I got another associate degree. And before I bought the restaurant, I was a manager working at uh, at one of the biggest uh, health systems in, in in Central Ohio, and ended up buying a restaurant. And now I love that I am able to dispense whiskey. So is that why you're so good at making drinks? You yes. Have the yes. Pharmaceutical yes. Science I love. Uh, I love. I love to make drinks and I love to to dispense whiskey. So sometimes I, I'll joke with people. Now that the uh, the, the liquor laws in Ohio changed during the COVID, uh, we can sell drinks to go. So we have like little vials, like two ounces of vials, and it's like they always they always enjoy them when I feel them. So it looks like uh, I'm back in school. I'm back. I'm back practicing pharmacy. So what's the best thing on the menu? If somebody comes in, they've never been here. What's the best thing on the menu? It depending on uh, depending on uh, on what people would like to, to eat, but uh, our lamb chops are fantastic. Uh, we we really know how to cook them. Uh, we have good hamburgers. We have pasta. Uh, we are very well known for our, our gyros. Uh, and when it comes to drinks, our smoked old fashioned is like number one uh, selling uh, a cocktail we have. All right, so you're going to be making a super special drink. Yes, we're going to make one of our uh, smoked old fashions, which is uh, reward winning in here in Delaware. Everybody brags about them. So this is so much fun to make and so much fun to watch. Uh, first of all, we're going to light our uh, fire to make some smoke for uh, our uh, smoke glass. Let the glass capture all the smoke in there as we need, and, uh, and we'll proceed with our drink. We're gonna have two ounces of our privately picked barrel of burning chair. We always use privately picked barrels for our cocktails in house. We're gonna use one ounce of our uh, dark brown simple syrup that we make in house, and we slightly change the recipe for the seasons, uh, just changing some spices to make it more uh, season appropriate. Two, two dashes of Angostura orange bitters. We're gonna stir it for a little bit while our glass in here is getting all smoky. That's nice. See all this smoke? A nice ice cube in here or ice bowl, depending on what we have available. Oh, 
some beautiful cherries and orange. Wow, look at that. Uh, we'll, have, we'll have customers and, and friends coming from different restaurants after dinner just to get uh, smoked old fashions as, as the nightcap and before they go home. So those are a few things that we're proud of. Our customers have been so loyal they are willing to wait an hour, an hour and a half on a Friday and Saturday to get a table with us. Or uh, uh, our to-go orders have been skyrocketing. Everybody orders food from us. And uh, I'm very, I'm, when, if you could have asked me this question last year, this time, uh, I was a little worried, but now I'm not worried anymore. Uh, to be honest, I'm thankful of COVID. Uh, I have created and I have maintained way more customer base. People have been very nice to us. People have supported us way more than I anticipated that the community will help us. But uh, we are in Delaware, so uh, Delaware has been a fantastic community on helping all our restaurants. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't say the same thing for my brother-in-law in Columbus. Uh, he has been struggling to COVID, but in here we haven't because we have a fantastic community. People, people of Delaware have come up and help us because last year after we opened, we got flooded and people still came back and helped us. So uh, I'm very thankful for the community. If I don't think I'll have say the same nice things uh, if I was, if my restaurant or I was living in a different community, I don't know if the same nice things would have happened to me on those places. But like, I'm very, very thankful for the community that we live in Delaware. It's one of the best. So when you're not here, where are you? Uh, I'm here. Uh, if I'm not in here, I'm here. If I'm not in here, I'm at Kentucky to probably try in barrels and uh, uh, picking barrels. At this point, we have about 50 privately picked barrels that will go to distilleries and try different products and uh, choose our, our own barrels. Uh, I have a few more trips uh, coming up this, uh, this month. So, yeah, I, I'll, I always work. If I'm not in here, I'm at a liquor store or I'm in Kentucky. So if somebody came in and wanted a bourbon flight, what's the best way to start? If someone knows nothing about bourbon and they want to come in and start trying to taste something, where's the best place to start? So we like to see like what you palate like. Like how do you get your coffee? Do you get it sweet or do you get it black? Do you get it with a lot of whipped cr uh, cream or we, we get it uh, uh, decaf? And we ask those questions to, to kind of assess your palate and uh, we'll, we'll, match, we'll match what you like on with our product because we have the largest whiskey selection. At, at this point, we probably have 2,900 spirits on our uh, on our back bar. Sometimes, sometimes we think that we need to change the, the name of the restaurant from Opa to Holy Spirits. Yeah, when somebody comes in here, they need to be uh, sitting down and have uh, have a good time, and uh, they don't have to worry about anything else. We take care of the rest. They just need to come in, relax, enjoy their life, enjoy their dinner or lunch, whatever the time of the day they come in. We got the rest. My team, it's a. Uh, uh, it's one of the best teams that I have been working with. Uh, uh, they are very compassionate of, of what they do. My guys in the kitchen, if I, if I uh, combine their uh, cooking skills or cooking years that they have, it's probably like 120 years. Uh, uh, so we have the skills, we have the expertise, we have the passion, we'll take care of you. Thank you so much, Genti. You have created such an amazing place at Opa Grill and Tavern. Until next time, this is Sarah Marie Brenner in downtown Delaware, encouraging you to come on down to Delaware. Thanks for watching the Delaware, Ohio Local Guide.